just pull up your bootstraps and work for a couple of thousand years. Folks don't want to work anymore. Folks complain because they, you know, we're working 40 hours a week. You could have to work a couple centuries. What are you complaining about? So the AFL-CIO has uh, every year they do this uh, executive pay watch project. Um, they do this uh, where they take a look at, at you know what the uh, median worker to CEO pay is uh, on average in S and P five hundred and Russell three thousand companies. Um, and so these are some of the I pulled some of the top line takeaways uh, from the AFL CIO's pay watch, and uh, I also pulled some not so fun anecdotes. So let's jump right into it. Uh, they they were definitely very critical of the Trump tax cuts for good reason. Here's uh, from the AFL-CIO's report. The 2017 tax cuts that primarily benefited corporations and the wealthy during the Trump administration remain in place, costing an estimated approximately $2 trillion over 10 years. These tax cuts permanently reduced the top corporate income tax rate from 35% to 21%, and economists estimate that 51% of the income gains from the corporate tax cuts went to firm owners. Wait, Ten wait, a second. You, you said firm owners. Yes, not workers. I, oh, oh, okay. I don't know many of those, but all right. Not workers, not investments in new products or new manufacturing facilities. 51% of the income gains from the corporate tax cuts went to firm owners. 10% went to the top five highest paid senior executives. 38% went to the top 10% and 0%. Zero percent of the wage gains went to the bottom 90 percent of workers wage gains from the Trump tax cuts. Not great. Um, in 2023, S&P 500 companies repurchased almost eight hundred billion dollars in shares stock buybacks. That is a uh, financial engineering practice that increases earnings per share that is used in many CEOs' incentive pay plans. The Institute for Policy Studies notes that the company um, notes that the money used for stock buybacks could instead be reinvested by companies to create good jobs, and has called for a ban on stock buybacks for companies receiving federal grants under the Chips and Science Act. Again, that's just totally a no-brainer. And stocks stock buybacks used to be illegal. It, it was considered illegal market manipulation to buy back stocks. Uh, but then, you know, Reagan happened and uh, basically, you know, the source of everything wrong in this country. Uh, so uh, on average, the median employee of an S&P 500 company would have to start working in 1755, which is prior to the start of the American Revolution to earn what the average CEO received in 2023. That is crazy. And that is while in 2023, commodity prices that companies pay fell by 3%, while consumer prices rose 3%, boosting corporate profits and CEO pay. Wait, so I just want to make sure I got this straight. It sounds like the materials, like the raw materials that the companies purchased actually decreased in price right the so-called supply chain issues that we've been hearing about so their materials went down and i guess they could have passed that on to consumers or to the workers but they actually rose prices they increased prices oh okay all right just making sure i'm tracking Yep, that's what happened. Um, here in Alabama, some of the top not, top line numbers are that the average S and P five hundred CEO pay in Alabama is over eleven million dollars. The average Russell three thousand CEO pay is over five million dollars. The average worker pay is fifty three thousand dollars. The S and P five hundred CEO to worker pay ratio in Alabama is two hundred thirteen to one, and the Russell three thousand CEO to worker pay ratio is one hundred and one to one. And uh, 
longtime listeners of the show will remember that uh, the CEO of Warrior Met Cole has been on this list for a long time as one of the most highly paid executives in the state of Alabama. He continues to be on that list, uh, the like fifth or sixth most highly paid executive in the state of Alabama, Walter Scheller, CEO of Warrior Met Cole, making six point six six million dollars and oh. that is not a joke that is actually, are you kidding me that is that is actually how much he made in 2023 six point six six million dollars uh so wow yeah Hey, five seconds. Just wanted to say that this is only possible because of our donors. If you want to see more of this, then consider donating yourself at tvlr.fm slash donate. Uh, okay. And, you know, this while union busting, trying to bring down uh, pay for his workers, uh, not offering a real raise, um, which is what started the strike, you know, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just so gross that this kind of stuff is allowed to happen. But uh, there, that's not the only one. There are some other really, really crazy uh, uh, stories here in this report. So the Charter Communications CEO, Christopher Winfrey's total compensation increased from $15.6 million in 2022 to $90 million in 2023, a 470% annual increase. In November 2022, Charter Communications increased its Spectrum Home Internet service prices by $5 a month, affecting an estimated 9.5 million customers. Charter Communications increased prices again in 2024, including a $6 per month increase in its low-income internet plan. That's crazy. An almost 500% wage increase. That is. Bonkers. So for all you charter customers out there, if you've noticed your prices going up over the last couple of years, that's true. They have. And uh, that's where it's going. Delta Airlines CEO Ad Ed Bastian's total compensation increased from nine point six million dollars in 2022 to thirty two point two million dollars in 2023, a two hundred fifty six percent annual increase in 2022. He announced that summer air travel pricing would increase between 25 and 30% on average. Delta also increased its checked baggage fees by $5 in 2024. Johnson & Johnson CEO Joaquin Duato, his total compensation increased from $13 million in 2022 to $28 million in 2023, a 117% annual increase. Johnson & Johnson has sued to block the implementation of the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, Inflation Reduction Act's Medicare drug price negotiation program that will reduce drug prices. The company's pharmaceutical subsidiary, Janssen, claims that while uh, list drug prices are going up, its net drug prices have fallen due to increased insurance company negotiated discounts, but that patients do not always benefit from these quote-unquote lower prices. Starbucks CEO Laxman Naras, Narasimhan, Narasimhan. Uh, her total compensation increased from $8.8 million in 2022 to $14.6 million in 2023, a 66% annual increase. Starbucks has increased its prices several times in recent years, with the cost of a venti size cup of coffee reportedly increasing 20% in some locations, between 2021 and 2022. In 2023, Starbucks also doubled the amount of purchases required to earn rewards under its loyalty program. Uh, the median the uh, median worker to CEO pay ratio at Abercrombie and Fitch is 6,000 to one. A median worker from Abercrombie and Fitch would have had to have started working in 4,000 BC in order to earn what the CEO made in 2023. For comparison, the Great Pyramid of Giza was built at about 2,500 BC. Mattel Inc. has a median worker to CEO pay ratio of 3,600 to 1. A median worker from Mattel would have had to start working in 1,500 BC in order to earn what the CEO made in 2023. For comparison, 
the Poverty Point Earthworks was built in 1200 BC. Gap has a 2,000 to 1 median worker to CEO pay ratio. A median worker from Gap would have had to have started working in 137 BC in order to earn what the CEO made in 2023. For comparison, the Roman Colosseum was built circa 80 AD. Crazy stuff there. Just pull up your bootstraps and work for a couple of thousand years. Why are folks not, you know, I don't get it. Folks don't want to work anymore. Folks complain because they, you know, we're working 40 hours a week. You could have to work a couple centuries, right? Right. <laughs> you know, what are you complaining about? It's a good thing. It's a good thing we're paying those increased prices so those CEOs can benefit from that. Uh, yeah. You know, I know there's a lot of talk about inflation, but I don't know. Seems to me like inflation could be used as another word for price gouging. But just a thought. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.